Masking is a common term used in today's age. Everybody's been wearing their mask for so long, it's very common to have mask acne occurring right where you would wear your mask because you radiate your breath inside. There's a lot of bacteria that occurs inside of your mask, so let's find out exactly how much there is. So here are the four petri dishes that I ordered along with the uh, little forceps that I'm gonna be using. I have four Q-tips here, even though I'm really only gonna need three. I got four because I have four petri dishes. I'm gonna do one for the inside of the mask, one for the outside. One as a control, I'm just gonna do our filtered water bottle and then I'm gonna have one extra. Here's after I opened one of them up, you can see um, the little warning label, if I take that off, there's the inside. And you're not supposed to touch the inside of the lid because they don't want any of your bacteria to touch it because it's relatively sterile. And then here are the Q-tips which I'm going to sterilize with um, some hand sanitizer and try not to rub off the cotton, but then we're going to use all four of these. I realize what I'm going to do, so here are the directions over here. Um, they're kind of hard to read, but this is for the specific experiment that they designed, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently. So right now I'm going to boil some water. Once it's boiling, I'm going to take it off, move it, then I'm going to add two tablespoons of the hot water to a container and then add um, one pack of this. So now that the water is boiling, I have my tablespoon. I'm going to take four tablespoons of that, put it in this heat resistant container because it calls for two when I'm doubling the recipe. Then ask for one pack of agar mix. So I'm going to take two and then after it cools, I'm going to put it in here after it looks like a gelatin consistency. Then I'm going to put this in the fridge to let it cool overnight. So severely underestimated how much four tablespoons was, so I decided to add it in this little tiny container. Now I'm gonna add my pack of agar mix. So I've been stirring for roughly two minutes now, and you can see that the consistency is roughly like gelatin as they asked. Um, you can see it kind of slides there. And it's not as liquid as water, so it's probably good. So I'm gonna pour a quarter of it into each of these four Petri dishes, these two and these two. Then I'm gonna flip them upside down and put them in the fridge. There's one. There's two, there's three, and there's four. And now we check back in tomorrow morning. So here's the mask I'm gonna be using tomorrow. I've worn this one for a week and haven't washed it. And here's a mask that I'm going to wash right now and then I'm gonna hang it up to dry until I use it tomorrow. All right, washing is officially done. Now we hang it up to dry for the night. All right, so it's been 12 hours later. I removed all of the agar plates from the fridge Here's the 12 or the one week mask that I haven't washed. Here's the one that dried. I washed that last night and now I've got my two Q-tips. So I'm gonna use one end. This one right here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, if I can focus on it there. Um, I just poured our water on that from our supposedly clean filtered water. So now I'm gonna rub that on the agarose here. And then I'm gonna take the other side, rub it on the inside of the mask. Then I'll do the inside and outside of the one week old mask. So this one's gonna be the clean and then the one week old. All right, now that part's done, all I gotta do is label these four and then we're gonna flip them back over and allow the bacteria to grow for the next 12 hours. Now they're all good and labeled, so I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna flip it over, I'm gonna put it inside of this little drawer and we'll see you in 12 hours. All right, so I decided to wait 24 hours. We're just gonna take one out here. Um, so this one is the inside the dirty mask. Let me flip it open here. Um, it's actually kind of hard to see. There are white dots kind of forming here. I don't know if I can make it any easier to see. You can kind of see the white dots forming on the very top, but that's supposed to be what it looks like. Um, I said it'll take a couple of days to actually form, so I'm gonna give it a couple more. Put that back on, flip it back over, put it back in there, and then we'll see it in another 12 or 24 hours. All right. Inside of the clean mask. Let me see if I can focus it. You can see some specks. I'll try and get my finger one there, one there, one there. So there are three little tiny specks. Um, but other than that, there's not a ton on this one. Again, that was the inside of the clean mask. So oh, there might be a little bit there. Um, probably shouldn't open that up entirely though because it can spread the bacteria. But that one isn't too bad. Let's put them back, wait another probably 24 hours. This is after 24, so we're at a total of 48, and I will now wait until 72, and then we'll look again. All right, 72 hours later. Oh my gosh, inside of the dirty mask, there is no bacteria, that is crazy. So obviously that one at the end was fake. I recorded that from the first probably one hour that I did it, just to show that there was no bacteria. So I'll put a little picture down here at the bottom of all of them lined up. Um, and then I'll put a little label, I'll do a voiceover about which ones were which and why they didn't really have that much bacteria on them. So the Petri dish in the top left corner is from the inside of the unwashed mask. The top right is from the outside of the unwashed mask. 
the lower left corner petri dish is from the filtered water and then the lower right is from the inside of the clean mask so the reason why i think the clean mask still a lot of bacteria is because obviously i only use soap and i didn't actually put it through hot water it was actually just cold water with soap and then obviously the filter water in the lower left can't get all of the bacteria so it makes sense that there was still a little bit and then obviously the unwashed mask had the most bacteria on the inside from where my mouth breathes and i cough and stuff like that thank you for checking out this experiment with me to see how much bacteria is exactly inside of your mask over the past three days i have been Constantly checking roughly every 12 hours. Some things weren't very climatic, so I decided not to record them. After I saw a couple of specs, I decided to record it, and then the final product, um, you obviously saw in that picture that I showed and did a little voiceover for describing which Petri dish was for which part of the mask that I swabbed. If you do want to try this experiment out for yourself, I will link in the description a pack that you can buy, probably off of Amazon or for find something, probably just the cheapest version. If it doesn't have a pack for how to do the exact directions, you can just boil some hot water, mix in the powder, Rub it in the agar plate, wait for it to cool, and then you can swab your surface with a sterile um, swab Q-tip thing and then wait probably 48 hours uh, more or less in order to see the bacteria grow. Or you can buy pre-made um, pre containers that already have the agarose gel in them. So those would probably be much easier just so you don't disrupt the process or maybe make it wrong and then have to buy more and worry about buying extra just in case you do mess up or something like that. So you can check out both of those in the description. And if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, leave a subscription so you don't miss out on any new videos I have coming out. And that's all I got. Peace.